Hey guys, it's Fook, and I'm going to show you very quickly today how to create your own custom watch face. So this is my Gear S3 with an Omega C Master face that I made uh, to put on this, and it goes very fast. I'll show you another face that I did, the uh, Panerai Luminor, so you can see how quickly and how easy it is uh, to do. So give me a second, I'll switch watch faces, and I'll be back to show you which, uh, what that one looks like. All right, guys, so this is my Panerai Luminor. Um, that I made and it's hard to see and the video is kind of jerky because I'm hand holding this so I apologize but it does look really good in real life so uh, without further ado let me go ahead and show you how this is done alright guys so if you want to do this there are two things you got to do one you have to go into the Galaxy App Store and uh, download the Mr. Time Maker widget and then send it to your watch so that you have the uh, custom watch face and to do that you just uh, search within Galaxy Apps for Mr. Time Maker and it's all together one word I already have it installed so I just have that little icon to uh, send it to my watch if it wasn't already there so if you don't have it installed you would click install or touch install and uh, get that installed onto your uh, your gear Okay. Then we're going to exit out of the Galaxy uh, App Store and we go to the normal uh, Play Store. So I have a shortcut on my uh, Samsung S7 Edge here that I'm going to launch. And uh, in the Google Play Store, you would also search for Mr. Time Maker. There you go. And get that installed onto your phone and I already have it installed so what you see here is uh, to open it uh, not to install it okay and then what you do when you're on the phone is to run the Mr. Time Maker app that you've downloaded from the Google Store if you have created an account uh, on the Mr. Time Maker site and have made watches for it then you'll see your designs on your page here where it says my design and to get it to your watch, you simply touch on the one that you would like. So I have a couple of versions of the, the Panerai Luminor here. And I can click on the uh, kind of the grayish one and then just touch send to my watch. Or I can pick my Omega Seamaster and touch send to my watch and it'll get to my watch. Okay, That's how you get the, the watch face that you've created onto uh, your Gear S3. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do. All right, so this is uh, the default uh, watch face. Well, not the default. This is the Frontier face that I put on my my uh, S3 Classic, which I think looks really good on it. But uh, here's what the Mr. Time Maker widget does. And basically, any custom uh, watch face that you download that you can then change would be considered a widget um, that displays the face on... Uh, on the Gear S3. So to change watch faces, if you have it installed, you just touch the screen and see how it says Frontier. You can scroll over until you get the right one that you want. So I have Watchmaster installed, but I also have Mr. Time Maker. So here's Mr. Time Maker. And once I touch that, it just switches to uh, the face for that watch. So there are two components to uh, to this so you need to download the Mr. Time Maker widget on the Galaxy App uh, Store and then you also need to download the uh, Mr. Time Maker standalone app or you can use the website uh, alright so in order to create your own custom watch face for the Samsung Gear S3 um, you want to download that Mr. Time Maker app from the Google Play Store and you also want to download the Mr. Time Maker widget from the Galaxy App Store and then you would install that widget onto your Gear S3. If you uh, don't want to create an account on the website you can create watches on the phone via the app but you won't have the flexibility that you would if you do it uh, with an account and then go back to your desktop to actually create the watch. So what I would recommend is to go ahead and create uh, an account online and then just use your browser to create your watches because that's the easiest way to, to go. Okay, So I've already logged in 
and I'm back on my computer <clears throat> and you can see here that I have those four um, watch faces that I've already created but let me kind of walk you through the steps here it's actually very straightforward and uh, goes very fast okay so once you're in your account what you do is you click on the link to create the watch and this new window pops up and basically you get to either select uh, Android Wear or Samsung Gear as kind of the base uh, uh, to get going and then you can either select Gear S2 or Gear S3 and ignore the fact that they have uh, the Frontier display here it works fine on either the Frontier or the, or the Classic and then you click Next and then you can choose either analog or digital and I leave it as analog because all the watch faces I made I make are uh, analog and then you can either create select one of the background images uh, that comes by default with Mr. Time Maker there's a, a few of them or you can use your custom so that's what I do so you click on custom and then click next and this is where you can upload your own image to the app so that you make your your watch face so I uh, go ahead and click upload and as you can see here I have a bunch of uh, watch faces that I've made so let's go ahead and do that that Omega one okay. and as you can see here's the Omega Seamaster uh, face there's no hands on it you have a bunch of options here to scale the image up or down in size you can reposition it you can even rotate it depending on what you're doing but since I was very careful in uh, making a very clean dial for my watch face already I can just go next this is where you can insert uh, numbers or markers for the hour hand and if you were using a more simplified background you certainly can do that um, so if you look through some of these you can actually see there's like a number 12 on here but since I already have markers on my dial I'll just click the default of no marker, no index, and click next. And then the next thing you want to do is to add uh, some hands to your watches. Now, you can either upload your own hands, and I'm going to do that uh, for these watch faces that I'm making. But to get started, you don't need to. It does come with a bunch of uh, pretty good looking hands. Okay, So you just kind of scroll through and find the one that you like. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the second hand here. Because for some reason it's not showing up properly. But you have like dark hands. And there's a couple on here that works really well with this uh, Omega face. Um, that doesn't quite work. Maybe this would look okay. But that doesn't quite uh, look right with an Omega. Uh, something like this certainly would, would work or even this so let's go ahead and select this and if you want to have the second hand uh, you know uncheck this box and you'll you'll see it then you click next and if you want to add sub dials you certainly can but uh, on a watch like this that doesn't come with with sub dials it would just look cheesy so I'm gonna skip all that and click skip if you want to you can add your own custom text to uh, the watch um, but I don't need to do that either so you know if you do you just type your text here select your position click OK but we won't do that simply click next and then it asks you to give uh, a name to the watch so you can go find it later so I'm gonna call this Omega Seamaster since I already have one I'm gonna call it O2 and then you do have to have two two tags by default so I'm gonna say classic and black and then since I'm using uh, a graphic that is copyrighted uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this as private if you don't I think Mr. Time Maker will do it for you anyways when they go through kind of their review process and then the last step in the uh, series is just to click create it takes just a few seconds while the site makes the watch face and once it is and then you log on to the app on your phone you'll see this watch face on the phone and you can send it um, to your Gear S3. So here it is, Omega Seamaster O2. And actually it looks just like the, uh, the first one I made, so I picked even the same hands. 
but uh, you can see the process is very easy <clears throat> if you have your own watch dial graphics um, and have even created the hands you can upload all of those and Mr. Time Maker will create your own custom watch of course you can create your your own custom watch faces using all of the default graphics that Mr. Time Maker gives you but if you were to make something like an Omega or a Rolex or a Panerai um, you can see how easy it is uh, to do so anyways if you have a question please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to to answer it otherwise I hope that you found this useful and if you do please click like and I'll see you in another video